Nigeria politics is like the more you look, the less you see. Like now, what we are seeing now in Nigeria politics, like Nollywood, it's like a dramatic something. Today, you see Oshomola and Okoa quarreling in the net. Then the next, they see them on the function, they are shaking hands, laughing him happily. So, like the politicians, they are losing, they are taking, they are using us for granted. They are taking us for a fool. They do things the way it suits them. So, killing yourself over the politics of 2019, when you're win, they already know, and it's like you plan something. Who is going to win? Is going to win. Like me, I wish Atiku to win, not because I think he's a good character of a person that is supposed to win, but at least I need someone that can that can speak out for the country. Not someone that will go uh, to, to the television or someone that will represent us in USA that cannot even speak a good English. It's very bad of us. He can't talk well of us. So I'm not talking about a thief. Which I want a better thief come 2019. So I would like Oshomole or someone else that can that is outspoken to win from 2019. So, uh, the country is very tiring. If, what we say, if we can go back to the colonial masters, they themselves can bring us back to where we are. We need a white leader. I, I don't know. I don't know for you. That's what can get this country back to where it was before because we're voting for ourselves. It's like we don't like ourselves. We don't we all care about our pockets. We don't think like uh, this man that just died or that nini. Upon everything now, he don't leave the money, he don't go. So if we can think about tomorrow, if we just die tomorrow, if you say the money don't long, but anything can happen. You understand? So that's what I think. This is actually coming directly from me. So what will you say? Have we actually been making progress as a country? Uh, economically, no, we haven't been making progress. But in terms of trying to be accountable in society areas, because uh, you, you look at how they have brought the accountability into play, it hasn't been a fair thing. But there are some certain monies we've heard, some certain people who not alleged now, but confirmed that they actually took from the economy and they are returning it. Uh, in that area, I'll give them a pass mark to some certain level because they haven't also victimized us where uh, the, their own parties, you know, it has always been the opposition party who were in power. But we know of some certain people or persons now that were in the other party that they came to their own party that have not been persecuted. Uh, so I feel in that area, I'll give them a 10 over 100, you know. But again, in terms of progressively moving forward, moving the economy for where it is, infrastructural development, we've not gotten it at all. We are expecting a candidate, regardless of the party. We want to know the person, not the party. We know PDP, we know APC, we know AD. But we want to know the person, what the person can actually do. How educated is he, not in terms of school, but how educated is he about this country, Nigeria? Is he ready to be a father to us? That's what I'm looking at for. Then their own argument will inform my decision in terms of who to vote for. Beautiful. Are you an eligible voter? Definitely, I have my PVC, I'm ready to vote. That's why I'm waiting for them to come out on a debate and tell us what they have in their offering, what they want to offer us. I, I'm not ready to vote for a party. I'm ready to vote for the individual who can really offer me something that will move our daily country forward. The truth is, my brother, and no matter how far we run, we go to the United States, go to the United Kingdom, this is our home. One day we'll definitely come home. If we don't fix our home, Nobody will come and fix it for us. The, the USA, the United Kingdom, didn't beg us to fix their homes for, for them. They did it, that's why we are going there. So if we all say to ourselves that we want to fix our homes and make sure this home of ours, this Nigeria of ours is okay, people overseas will definitely come and invest here. So we are looking for that candidate that can deliver, not a candidate that will promise you that at the end of the day, they go out there to be given to their godfathers and all that want a Nigeria that is progressive. So among the aspiring candidates for the presidential elections, who is your preferred candidate? Well, I can't say for now, like I said, I, I, I want to see all of them. I, I've heard different campaigns from different quarters, but you know, it's easier for you to sit in front of a camera and say a whole lot, but difficult when you are competing with someone who understands the nitty gritty of becoming a president or, on how to run things. So I want to see them on the debate. I want to hear what President Mohamed Buhari has for Nigeria in the next four years, should he get re-election. I want to see Atiku 
talk to us what he can offer. He was the vice president of Nigeria some couple of years ago. Now should he be elected president? I want to see what they can offer. There are others, you know, who to me I love. I would love to see someone that is not very old to be the president of Nigeria. The president of uh, France is in his 40s, early 40s, and, and we want someone that can bring the innovation, new idea. We've seen over and over today the military, former military head becomes the president, and so it has been reshuffling, but we've not seen a fresher idea from someone that really have this country in this house. So that's what I'm expecting. It, it could be a woman I'm voting for. It doesn't have to be with the sex. It could be a woman. If there's a woman that is really ready to serve the country and take it from where it is right now to the right level, I'll vote for her. So right now I cannot say it's going to be you or me I'm voting for.